This is a bit of a touchy one, this one, isn't it? So I'm looking forward to having a chat with this. Uh, Rebecca, let's start with you, because you, you were in a polyamorous relationship for, was it five years? Yes, yeah, so I did five years of an open relationship, and I left that to go be monogamous. So why? I've done both. Yeah, why did you um, leave? I mean, in short, because it's really, really hard work. Um, and I think open relationships are often offered up as this, oh, it's this great alternative, you don't get bored, you don't have cheating, but just because you don't get bored and don't have cheating doesn't mean that it's totally issue-free. And there's a lot of drama. The well, let's people. talk about the drama. Let's talk about the issues that you went through. What what happened in this relationship? So I'm interested. So the more people you get involved in a relationship, the more wants and needs you've got. And it's hard enough when there's two of you just balancing what two people want I and know. need. When there's four of you, it's not just twice as much, mm. it's four times as much. And um, a lot of polyamorous relationships, you have a primary and a secondary partner. I was a secondary partner. Oh, and, OK. Um, I was very secondary. Um, you spend your whole time realising that your needs are less important than somebody else's. And if you're texting somebody, you're usually getting in the way, you're being irritating, you're taking up their time. Um, and it's, I'm not sure that it's a really very fair structure on anyone. So for you, it was more of the, the want and the need of that affection, not being the, the primary member yeah. of the relationship, shall we but say. But it's not about needing to be number one or needing the right title or be, or sort of needing the glory. It's just needing to know that you have somebody who is yours and you're theirs and you're a support system for each other. And I think that's what's amazing about being in a relationship is you have that one person who is obliged to take your calls and <laughs> hold your hair back when you're being sick yeah. and <laughs> go and buy your flu medicine. And I think that that's what's so amazing about monogamy is you know exactly whose team you're on all the time. But, Helen, that's not... For you, is it? That's not what you're all about. Well, I mean, I, uh, it's not so much monogamy that I'm against. Um, I wouldn't want that polyamorous relationship that you describe. Yeah, don't do um, <laughs> <laughs> But I don't think it's as cut and dry as, you know, do we want, like, a lifelong monogamous relationship or do we want this, like, open relationship where you go and sleep around with lots of people? So I'm in a relationship now and that is monogamous and every time I've been in a relationship where I've been in love, I've wanted to be monogamous because um, I think that you know we are naturally as humans we do have a we do fall in love and we do kind of only have eyes for the person that we're, when we're when we're like madly in love and mm. it's all new we're in that honeymoon like romantic phase great uh, but that's just it right it's it, it's that newness when it's like so I've I've the, honeymoon it, right? period. I've, the honeymoon period which is lovely just like Valentine's, or, like Valentine's Day every day right <laughs> so uh, but I've never been in a relationship for longer than two years, so I think it's it's that do you think you bit. Get bored? Which I do get bored. I have get bored. It's not so much a boredom. It's like I want to. I feel like I'm at my my life gets put on hold a little bit. You know, I want to go off and have new adventures and discover new things after two years. So um, I'm in a relationship now, which is going very well. So I kind of I want it to last, just like everyone else. And can I ask, what do they um, think of? your thoughts because obviously you're now on oh, national TV yeah. saying <laughs> yeah. you know I'll get so bored. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, are you in a relationship that's now? It. That's it. Uh, it's, it's communication is really important and this is the this is the exact point which I want to say which is like I think we have this view and these expectations on relationships that it has to last forever and if it doesn't it's a failure and you know you've got to like move in with each other and I think these days it doesn't it's not so much the case that a relationship can't last forever mm. but I think we need to kind of relax the rules and be open to a different type of relationship. So, for example, so my fear is, OK, I haven't gone beyond a relationship of two years. So after two, you know, when it gets to that point where, you know, sex isn't as great and um, you're not kind of... It's not Valentine's every day. <laughs> you've gone past that romance. Toenail what clippings. Happens, um, <laughs> can we, we perhaps then need to be open to relaxing the rules? This is not necessarily just relaxing the rules on sexual monogamy, but perhaps just being a bit more... I think so many couples these days like get their claws into each other and it's like okay we're together now you've got to come home at 12 o'clock yeah from the pub you know or 